Hello, my name is Lanita Hale, and I'm here with uh, Andre Moore. We're in the online organization behavior class, and we're writing a paper. It's two of us in the group, and the paper we chose to write on is Should Guns Be Allowed on College Campus? And we will break it down in different segments to go over our paper. And the background, I started on the background for us, this paper. What I want to know is how many guns approximately were in the United States. And I found that um, a survey was done from the University of Chicago because there were no federal government uh, papers that estimated. But from their study that they did, that they did give to the United States federal government, they found that uh, 79 million U.S. households have guns. And they did another survey uh, to see how many were approximately illegal guns that they um, had knowledge of was 207 to 300 million guns that were unaccounted for, which means those guns were getting in the hands of the mentally ill and gang affiliated members. And because of that, uh, we feel that innocent people are dying because of the lack of the gun control. Now, for my problem statement, I feel that the problem is that guns are getting into the hands of people who should not have them. And I believe that the United States should have a sticker of gun laws for people with prison records. When there's so many guns in the hands of people, uh, there are a lot of more innocent people that are going to get murdered. And I looked in our textbook and I came from chapter two, and I'm using uh, one of the statements is individual differences, the way in which factors such as skills, abilities, personalities, perception, attitude, value, and ethic differ from one. Of individual to another, and I tie that in with um, a, Attorney Abbott. He passed a law um, of January of this year to make it legal for guns to be carried on campus. Now it will go into effect January uh, 2016 for the campus to get ready um, so they can have guns on college campuses. But effective uh, January 2017, that will be allowed that guns are allowed on college campus. And I use another one, inter Interaction Psychology, which also came from Chapter 2, the psychology approach that said that to understand human behavior, we must know something about that person in the situation. And I use that according to when we get the hand guns in the hands of the mentally ill and the gang leaders, they think that this is a way to solve problems with guns, but guns is not a way to solve problems. And by mentally ill people having these guns, they are not in their right state of mind. And my next one that I will cover will be uh, some alternatives. First, I say we must make sure that we educate the community about the safety in guns, and that we're going to do a community awareness so we can start letting the community know that there are community-based programs that we can use. So, for instance, we have it here uh, in Texas. It's called the Buyback Program that they do sometime that if you bring a gun in, no questions asked, and they will give you money for that particular gun. And I think that we should have tighter security on college campus. The more visual the police and security are on the campus, hopefully that can deter some of the college uh, violence on campus. And for it's my criteria statement, I think we should have more police or security and that will cut down on the gun violence. And um, also for my criteria, I feel that if we have that, if we have that on there, we will need to educate more people and let them know that guns
more on the quality of the right. security as opposed to the service of security itself. Um, we would prefer and we would like and hope to believe that yeah. our security officers can be at all places at all times, well, but yeah. it's, it's impossible. That's you can't true. be everywhere at That's once. But um, again, just stating some of the facts, um, again, the concealed carriers out of the 763, 17 officers was killed. Mm. That's, that's not what you want to hear. 29 mm -hmm. of those 763 were mass shootings. Mm. And in this, in this era where people feel that um, gun control, gun control should be mandated, mm -hmm. it's it's really a slippery slope. Cause, like she said, my friend Lenita, is you have the mental ill. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is in the same state of mind. True. Some people's idea of self defense isn't self defense. Yeah. Um, there's a professor in Chicago, University of Chicago, I read, where one of his students, they did not like the grade that they received. Mm. You know, they, they felt that they deserved a better grade. You hear that all the time. Yeah, you hear that. But um, turns out, the student went to the professor's office mm -hmm. and they argued that this is not the end of it. Mm. You're going to hear more from me and right. you're going to wish that you gave me a better grade. That's scary. Yes. You don't want to hear that. Especially with the new law passed by Abbott yeah. and um, legislatures across the country following suit, where students can carry their concealed their weapon. That's yeah. that's scary. scary. So you that's that's retaliation, and you you just don't want that happening. No. You don't. Um, now working on ways to prevent guns. How about instead of fighting gun violence mm -hmm. with gun violence? Let's just, again, go back to education and sure. aware. Let's educate our students as well as our professors, because right. professors are, will be able to carry their guns mm -hmm. as well. That's right. But educate them on guns are not the solution to guns. Awareness, education, being aware of what to do with a gun, That's right. what to do with an active shooter. And something that myself and Lanita have decided in we would love to see at every university is how about every university and every college mandated for every first time student, freshman or right. incoming transfer, it's mandated that you have to take a course once right. a week on gun violence, gun control, and safety. That's good. Um, now this course again would be the freshman and incoming mm -hmm. transfers. You take this course, this course will be provided by security officers. The security officers will teach the course. So that way, all of our students, all of our professors, they're mm -hmm. safe, they're aware, and they are in the right state of mind sure. to protect their university. That's right. Again, we thank you for um, listening to us talk <laughs> on should guns be allowed on college campuses. Again, my name is Andre Moore. And I'm Lenita Hale. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you.